Cancer and welcome to your 2015 May Tarot reading. My name is Nikki. I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards, but before I begin, I would like to say that this is a general reading. If you would like a more accurate monthly reading or if you want a personal reading for me to answer any question of your liking, please visit my website in the description below. It is $15 per reading and I will be very happy to help you with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what is in store for you guys in the month of May. This first card will be your general theme card or your focus card for the month. And you have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is about relaxation, about taking time out. So this will be a month um, where you're going to Take some time to yourself, take a break. Um, maybe take some time off from work or um, uh, just seclude yourself a little bit. Not completely, because this is not the Hermit card and this is really not a time for learning anything, but just relaxation time, you time. Okay, the first card that I have here is the King of Cups in reverse. And I'm I'm going I'm going to read this this card in reverse because um, to my knowledge all my cards were upright. So if it is in reverse, I believe it's there for a very strong reason. Um, the king is usually a masculine energy and the king of cups is somebody who is um, generally a water sign. So this is probably you, Cancer, since you are a water sign. This is somebody who's emotional, like like you, Cancers. And um, usually the king is about giving advice, um, about aiding somebody. Um, and the king of cups is, is usually lo um, love matters or, or things that would provoke high emotions, sensitive subjects, things like that. Um, it's somebody who is, is very um, emotionally stable, really. Um, it's not somebody who is like boo-hooing all over the place all the time and and um, so sensitive that you, you're afraid to say anything to him. Not like that, but somebody who is, um, you know, comfortable with their emotions, uh, but somebody who is balanced in their emotions also. Um, since it is in the reverse position, I, I have a feeling that you're going to be having some kind of emotional turmoil or trouble in this first week of May. Um, <clears throat> you may not feel as emotionally balanced as you normally are. Um, you may be You may be in a situation where you don't know how to feel. Um, and this would go along with having the four of the four of swords as, you know, relax you need to take some time out because something's going on here in this first week where you're not really sure how to feel. Um, maybe your emotions are going kind of haywire. Uh, and you're the one who's needing to seek advice instead of the other way around. Um, so perhaps somebody will be advising you. For the second week of May, we have the Six of Wands. This is about, um, you know, getting condolences, um, people congratulating you, acknowledging you for a job well done. Um, this is, I mean, this is a great card for the second week. Um, I don't know what's going on in the first week, but it definitely, if it ties into the second week, I'm not sure, but there's some kind of turnaround here where things are looking more positive in this second week. And not necessarily, you know, the first week doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Um, it's just, you don't seem as emotionally stable as you generally are. And even though I say this is you, Cancer, it doesn't necessarily have to be you because there are two more water signs. It could be a Scorpio or um, or a Pisces, but this 
and it doesn't even have to be a water sign. It could because we can play these different roles um, throughout different times in our lives. I'm just saying it most likely is you or a water sign of some sort um, in this first week who doesn't quite know how to handle this imbalance of emotion. Okay, so yes, in the second week you're having, you know, pats on the back, job well done, some recognition maybe throughout the town, people recognizing you for something. Um, perhaps you'll get your name in the paper. Um, I do see it being a positive thing though. It's nothing bad. For the third week, you have the Eight of Pentacles. This is you taking on some kind of um, studying, some kind of um, research or um, investigating something uh, that will help you down the line financially. Uh, if you can imagine a college student, this is um, a card that kind of portrays that, uh, working hard and diligent um, at, <laughs> at their craft and, uh, and hoping down the line that this will uh, support them financially or bring them some kind of um, financial gain. For the fourth week, you have the Six of Pentacles. This is you um, not really paying attention, being kind of frivolous. Um, and if it's not you, then it could be somebody that you know, someone that is close to you that is affecting you. Um, and you, you really do need to pay attention. You're being very generous um, in this fourth week, but maybe to a fault. Um, the Six of Pentacles is all about um, generosity and charity, um, you having more than somebody else and realizing that and giving them a handout. Um, and that's, that's a really great thing. It could be about you overspending, not paying attention to how much is going out, um, maybe overdrawing um, a, your bank account. I, I, <laughs> I mean, the, the um, possibilities are... are boundless uh, what this could mean uh, I my advice is though just you know give and give generously always give and give generously but um and give happily I do believe you are doing that but, but pay attention like if you're spending money um, on yourself or someone else just you know take account of, of what's going out so you don't come up with a deficit or you know shorten yourself at the end of the month so, um, yeah, pay attention to finance and where it's going in the last month. So that is your reading in its entirety. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I do this every month and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.